Hello, everyone. This is our service learning presentation on Hiram Johnson High School. My name is Nat. I'm Ramneet. And I'm Abraj. So as I said before, um, this is a service learning presentation on Hiram Johnson High School, our community partner. And here you can see uh, to the map on the right that Hiram Johnson High School is located in Sacramento uh, on the intersection of 14th Street and 65th Street. And so the uh, Hiram Johnson High School is actually part of the Sac Sacramento City Unified School District. Um, it's actually one of 14 schools within the school district. Um, it predominantly serves the 9th and 12th grade students in the community, and it has a graduation rate of 75%. And uh, according to U.S. News in 2019, uh, the school uh, had reported 1,500 students with a 20 to 1 student to teacher ratio. Um, also, according to U.S. News, the school is ranked within the top 1,000 high schools in California and one of the top 1,700 in the nation. Um, as you can see, it's, uh, and then uh, the graphic from U.S. News to the right, as shown to the right, uh, shows the ethnicity and race breakdown of the entire school. Um, and then also, uh, the school is, the Hiram Johnson is uh, also adding pathways for law and medicine focused uh, pathways for students who are interested in these uh, fields. And it is also the school's mission uh, to provide for the educational needs of individual students by providing a rigorous um, experience resulting in prosperous outcomes. And so now Oprah will talk about the narrative humility. So when we talk about narrative humility, first we have to understand what that means. So when we break down the words, a narrative is one's account of something, more or less a story. While humility refers to ridding oneself of their pride and their, ignor and their arrogance. So when we put it together, we're talking about being open-minded to another's story what they have to say, understanding that all we're basically doing is it's not only about uh, receiving facts. There's a lot we don't know and we can't assume. And this concept applies across the board. So in Hiram Johnson, we learned from our uh, community partner that the community itself was, uh, you know, had was comprised of individuals who were on the bottom echelon of the socioeconomic ladder. On top of that, many of these students, they had to take on the responsibility of taking care of their family and even working while attending school. So when I was talking about narrative humility going across the board, this definitely applies to uh, our interactions with our community partner. However, more so than that, this should also apply to our interactions with people in general. And furthermore, as we, you know, go out and try to venture into the healthcare field, this should be a major concept which should be integrated within it. And you can't serve a community without hearing the whole story. Now, Ramneet will elaborate more on the community perspective. So these are just a few quotes from previous students at Hiram Johnson High School when they were asked about what they thought about the high school and what they liked about it. What most of these individuals talked about is how they viewed Hiram Johnson High School as a comfortable learning environment, as well as a hands-on environment and a second home. A community is not just made as an environment that serves people, but also to create a family and find friends that you make there and make it, have new experiences with. Some of the opportunities that Hiram Johnson High School has provided its students with include volunteering experiences, internships, employable skills, job shadowing, team building, and leadership experiences, as well as CPR, first aid, AED certification for especially the 10th and 12th grade students. Overall, what Hiram Johnson High School has done is try to prepare the students to become ethical and responsible citizens, family members, and workers in the health field. So I will continue on with taking into the different accounts that we had as we volunteered at Hiram Johnson High School. 
So initial, initially going into this environment, I knew that these students were of the senior class and I could therefore relate to them because I was just in their position a few years ago. That made me much uh, more comfortable with working with this new community. After com completing some research on the com community, my curiosity was raised because most of the news sources that were written about Hiram Johnson High School did not write about too many good things occurring there, including a deteriorating field that they had, um, an old campus overall, and also a lot of fights that occurred regularly between students. Some other news outlets also mentioned that there, this was an environment where students of low socioeconomic statuses worked their hardest in making change occur, including putting up posters to fix up their field that was deteriorating. This allowed me to have an open mind when learning more about the students in Ms. Fauchard's class. I'm appreciative of this overall experience because it allowed me to learn how to serve a community in what they need and not what I assumed they needed. It was humbling to learn how these students persevered even with the obstacles that were in their way. Um, so volunteering at Hiram Johnson was uh, actually a wonderful opportunity as we worked with Ms. Fischar and her senior students. This was an experience that was very eye-opening because um, Ms. Fischar actually developed a rather unique uh, relationship between her and her students, something that's not typical of a normal high school. Um, and it's a relationship that is very re reminiscent of sort of like a really large family. And uh, this was mainly possible because she's been with these students helping and mentoring them uh, for many years, some of them all four years of their high school career. And so uh, they were able to uh, be very comfortable in the presence of Ms. Richard, and we were able to see um, their true interactions with her and her students. Uh, and this was uh, something that I really enjoyed and looked forward to every time going to the site. And uh, it really inspired me to uh, teach these students in order to help them to become better and really uh, open my eyes to uh, what a great community that this is and what Ms. Richard has done with these students. So in terms of what my takeaway was from our, vi from our visits to our uh, community partner was uh, going off of what Nat said, it definitely was. So we didn't get enough of a chance to really build much of a rapport with the actual community at hand. However, we did get to observe how Ms. Richard interacted with the students, the level of care used, how she, how she tried to understand and didn't assume things, how she had developed such a strong bond and connection. And that's what helped, uh, that's what, you know, facilitated our interactions with the community itself. But moreover, how she was able to help the student, to help the community itself in a variety of different ways, one including innovative solutions that she came up with, that, that is what I think we should strive to be. That was my takeaway from our time at Tarim Johnson High School. All right, now on to uh, the acknowledgements. We all would like to thank uh, Professor Delgado, Professor Braxton, and the other service learning uh, teachers for you know their hard work and coming up with um, coming up with different activities as well as facilitating our understanding of how exactly we need to interact with the community, and you know, yeah, with how we should interact with the community. You know, there's an there's a nice little saying by uh, John C. Maxwell: Students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care.